Hello my dears, welcome back. How are you all? Are you staying safe at your home? Okay, very good. Let's begin today's class. Today we are going to learn a new lesson, Ricky Tiki Tavi. The story of Ricky Tiki Tavi is written by Joseph Rajat Kipling. Do you know him? Okay, let's introduce the author. Joseph Rudyard Kipling was born on December 30th, 1865 in Mumbai. He was an English short story writer, poet and novelist. Kipling is best known for his works of fiction including the Jungle Book. It's a collection of stories which includes Ricky Tiki Terry. He is regarded as the major innovator in the art of short story. In 1907, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. He was the first English language writer to receive the Nobel Prize. Okay, my dears, shall we move on to the text? Okay, now you take your text page number 161. Listen to me, I'll read it. Ricky Tiki Terry. It rained heavily all night. The sunlight was a little pale. Teddy, a young boy of ten, ran out into the garden. He saw a mongoose lying wet and still on the grass. There is a dead mongoose, Teddy called out to his mother. Let's bury him. No, said Teddy's mother. His heart is beating faintly. Perhaps he will live. Let's take him inside and dry him. Teddy's father wrapped him up in an old woolen muffler and placed him near the fire. The mongoose sneezed. Teddy and his parents were delighted. They gave him some meat and then took him outside. He sat in the sunlight and shook his fur till it was quite dry. He then shook his long fluffy tail till it looked like a bottle dress. Okay, my dears, did you get the idea of the story? Okay, very good. I know you may have read this story from Balrama, Pumbata, etc. Okay? Anyway, listen to me. I will give a detailed explanation. Listen to me, my dears. It is the story of a mongoose and a 10-year-old boy, Teddy. Okay? The day was very pale because last night there was a heavy rain. Teddy, a little boy who ran to the garden. Now you know who is Teddy. Teddy is a little boy. Suddenly, he saw a mongoose lying wet and still on the grass. Then he shouted loudly, Mom, come here. He is a dead mongoose. Let's bury him. Bury means to put or hide dead body under ground. Okay. By hearing this, Teddy's mother came into the garden. Then she said that now its heart is beating faintly. What do you mean by faintly? Faintly means softly. Maybe he will live so we can take it inside the room. Then Teddy's father wrapped it with a piece of old muffler and placed it near the fire. After some time, the mongoose sneezed. Sneeze means to have air come suddenly and noisily out through the nose and mouth. Then Teddy and his parents felt very happy and they gave him some meat and took him to the outside house. He sat in the sunlight and shook his fur till it was dry. Fur means the soft mass of hair that grows on the body of animals and it shook his long fluffy tail till it looked like a bottle brush. Have you seen bottle brush? Look here. 
this is the picture of a bottle brush which we used to, to wash water bottle feeding bottle etc here the author compares the tail of the mangoes like a bottle brush children what do you mean by fluffy fluffy means feathery body being very soft and silky with hair okay my dear Let's move on to the next passage. Listen to me. Soon he started taking interest in Terry and things around him. He followed Terry around the house and into the garden. He slept in Terry's room at night. In the morning, he came for breakfast, sitting on Terry's shoulder. Terry gave him a banana and a boiled egg. The mangoes entered the breakfast. Okay, my dears, listen to me. I'll give a detailed explanation. Now the mangoes became very smart, and it was very interesting. Teddy, it followed Teddy everywhere, and also he slept in Teddy's room. Every morning he came with Teddy for breakfast. Teddy gave him a banana and a boiled egg on that day. The mangoes. felt very happy and it enjoyed the life with that family okay my dears listen to the next passages soon teddy and the little mangoes became good friends the mangoes ran through the tall grass crying ricky tick ticky ticky tick teddy used to laugh at him and started calling him ricky ticky teddy One morning, Ricky Ticky was wandering about in the garden. There he saw Nag, the big cobra, and his wife Nagina. Cobras and mangoes are age-old enemies. Although Ricky Ticky was young, he knew that he, the main objective of a mangoose's life is to fight and kill snakes. Okay, my dears, listen to the detailed explanation. We know now Teddy and Mangus became great friends. They played in the garden very happily. The Mangus ran through the tall grass crying, "Ricky, Ricky, 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 Rick." So Teddy used to do laugh at him and started calling him "Ricky, Ricky, Teddy." That's why he got that name. Okay. One morning, Ricky was wandering around the garden. Remember, wander, wander means to move here and there in an aimless way. Suddenly, he saw a nag, the cobra, and his wife. Ricky was a very small one. Even though he realized that his aim was to fight and kill the snakes, because mangoes are the age-old enemies of snakes so he was not ready to fight and kill at that time he is waiting okay my dears let's see what happened later in the next class that's all for today now it's the time to wind up today's class we will meet in the next class with the rest of the story children take care and stay safe Thank you dears